The South Uni Township Sports Network, in cooperation with Atlantic Broadband, welcomes you to the South Uni Township Rec Center. Tonight, via live stream, it's the South Uni Township Elementary Basketball League with 5th and 6th grade division getting set to play. Hi, everybody. I'm Tony Anula with Jerry Dupay, and we welcome you aboard for this evening's two elementary basketball games. The South Uni Township Sports Network coverage is brought to you as a joint cooperative venture featuring Township Supervisors Bob Schiffbauer, Rick Vernon, and Jason Scott, Atlantic Broadband Cable, Armstrong Cable, and CUTV with Gary Smith. I'm Tony Hanula with Jerry Dupay, and we will be back for the opening tip of the first game right after these messages. This is Dr. Fraser Stokes. Did you know that colorectal cancer is the second leading cancer killer in America, or that it can be prevented by removing polyps during a 30-minute colonoscopy? At SWGI, our board-certified gastroenterologists, Drs. Ruth Hart Calabrese Hoppy and I, encourage you to consider a screening colonoscopy. Call 724-437-7677 or visit swgispecialists.com. Bad hair day? Bad day at the office? Bad day behind the wheel? Hey, stuff happens, even to the best of us. At least your car insurance rate doesn't have to take a hit. Get Erie Rate Lock from Erie Insurance. Gives you a great rate that stays put until you change a car, driver, or your address. Plus, seriously good service. Now that's something to smile about. Your Erie agent in Uniontown and Ross Traver Township is Sprawls Insurance Group. 724-437-9812 or go to SprawlsInsurance.com. Erie Rate Lock does not guarantee continued insurance coverage. It's not... Personal injury can come in many forms. No matter what your injury, the attorneys at Davis & Davis will personally meet with you to discuss your case, just like we have over the last 40 years. Trust your case to a local, experienced legal team. Trust Davis & Davis. At what point did everything change? When did service get taken out of service industries? It's too bad. Because people are busy these days, at life, at work, at play. When it comes to your hard-earned money, you want service, real service, from a person you know and a face you trust. At a bank where changing with the times doesn't mean leaving people behind. We're proud to be a part of your community. We're United Bank, at your service. Welcome back, everybody, to the South Union Township Sports Network. We're getting ready for the opening tip. Jumping for the black team all night will be Ian Stevenson. He'll be jumping against Keller Stroop. And the opening tap ends up going to black. Cooper Yegley looking up court, flipping it to Ian Stevenson. Stevenson trying to dump down pass. Thought that Brindley Duncan was going to cut towards the hoop, but just threw it a little bit ahead of her, so that's a turnover. Coming back will be the maroon team. We'll give you the starting lineups here in a second. Coming across half court, it's going to be Andrew Irwin. Irwin driving to the left, picked up there by even Ian Stevenson, I'm sorry. Luke Miller with the ball. Luke's going to get called for a double dribble. So let's set the starters for both teams. For the visiting Maroon team, starting tonight for them will be Nicholas Porter, Isaiah Jones, Luke Miller, Andrew Irwin, and Keller Stroop. For the black team, it's Cooper Yegley, Brindley Duncan, Casey Duncan, Carson Miller, and Ian Stevenson. So coming the other way, we have an injury. Timeout. We have a player down. Looks like somebody might have tripped. That's going to be Nicholas Porter. Porter shaken up a little bit. Not sure if he landed wrong. I think he actually tripped over somebody's feet. Coach Mike Irwin out there checking him out, and they're going to send him to the bench and get a little breather. So checking in, as soon as we get a number here, he's going to be triggering the ball in. That's number six. That's Oliver Perez. So Perez to trigger it in to Andrew Irwin. It's the black team versus the maroon team. Another player goes down, and that's Luke Miller, and he's okay. I think he and Casey Duncan just got tripped up there a little bit. So another player down, but Miller's going to be okay, and he's going to stay in the game. <clears throat> and it looks like Porter's up and around, too, doing okay. I'm sure he'll be checking back in here shortly. 
So there's the inbounds pass to Andrew Irwin. Irwin works top of the key, being guarded closely there by Ian Stevenson. Stevenson gives him baseline. Shot was up, no good by Irwin. Coming out of that scrum is Cooper Yegley. Here's Stevenson looking to run. Going to take the ball to the hoop. Dishes it right in the middle. Nice shot there by Casey Duncan. Just couldn't get it to go. Rebound out of there by Yegley. Yegley might have got away with a double dribble. Nice dump down pass there to Brindley Duncan. So Duncan with the first two points of the game. And the black team takes a 2 to nothing lead. 9.40 to go here first half. Good to see Nicholas Porter getting ready to check back in. Here's Irwin with a nice pass down low and a good shot there. Isaiah Jones with the easy bucket on a beautiful assist there by Andrew Irwin. Here comes Steven come, Stevenson coming the other way. And there's the floater in the lane, and Stevenson's going to get that one to go. So with that made basket, Nicholas Porter's going to check back in. He's going to check in for Keller Stroop. Four to two. The black team over the maroon team. Another substitution checking in for the black team is Dominic Sylvester. He'll check in for, looks like it was Carson Miller. So Irwin trying to shake the good defense there by Ian Stevenson. He's trapped in the corner looking for help, and he can't find any. Threw the ball off of Stevenson. Now he's going to flip the ball in the middle. Trying to drive the lane. Blocked there. We're going to call a jump ball. So nice job right there by Brindley Duncan on the defense. Nicholas Porter went up for the shot. Brindley Duncan, who has two points tonight, made a beautiful defensive play. So triggering it in. Nicholas Porter dumps it down in. Shot just a little bit short. Luke Miller. The rebound's Ian Stevenson, and he's coming the other way. Driving hard. Floater won't go. Coming out of the pack, Andrew Irwin, he's trying to take it strong, goes up. No good. Stevenson, nice outlet pass. It's stolen away there by Isaiah Jones. So Jones coming the other way. <laughs> Looks down low. Luke Miller has baseline, flips the shot up off the back rim. And Steven com Stevenson comes out with another rebound. Nice pass there on the inside. He had Dominic Sylvester open, but Sylvester couldn't get the shot to go. So the ball's going to be out of bounds. Checking in now for the Maroon team is number five. That's Kaylee Milsom. She's going to check in for Luke Miller, who takes a breather. So triggering it in will be Casey Duncan. Brindley Duncan now coming out of the corner. Picked up there by Milsom. Flips it to Stevenson. Stevenson trying to work, but good defense here by Andrew Irwin. Stevenson picks up his dribble. Now flips it, flips it back to Casey Duncan. <coughs> Duncan to Sylvester. Sylvester being guarded closely there by Isaiah Jones. Here's Stevenson parting the middle. Can't get it to go. Gets his own rebound. Puts it back up and gets it to go. So Ian Stevenson now with... Four of the six points for the black team in the black lead, six to two. We're at the six and a half minute mark of the first half. Irwin trying to work off the screen. Here's Milson with the nice dump down pass. Can't get it to go. Porter with the rebound. Tries to take it up strong, but he's being defended by three defenders on the black team. And here comes Stevenson out of the pack with the steal and the layup and can't get it to go. Oliver Perez coming the other way. Gets it across the timeline. Perez flips it over to Irwin. He's going to try to drive. Goes up strong. Rebound just a little strong. Nicholas Porter going up. Ball was knocked away by Stevenson. And now Stevenson with the beautiful outlet pass. Flips it down to Casey Duncan. And he's going to get fouled. So the first foul of the game is going to go to Kaylee Milsom. Looks like that's going to send Casey Duncan to the line. So somebody checking out. Duncan going to be checking out. Let's see who checked in. We'll get a number here. So friendly Duncan goes to the bench, and checking in will be Elijah Marks. 
The first shot there by Casey Duncan, no good. Now coming back in. No, nope, coming back out, I'm sorry, will be Duncan. Checking out for the Maroon team will be Isaiah Jones. Keller Stroop checking back in. Here's a second free throw attempt. No good by Duncan. But the rebound pulled out there by Kaylee Milsom. Milsom looking for an outlet pass. She's going to bring it across the timeline herself. Andrew Irwin looks down low. Nice try there to Oliver Perez, but just a little out of his reach. So now checking in for the black team will be Delshawn Canyon. Canyon giving Casey Duncan a little break. So here's Marks trying to shake Irwin. Nice move into the middle of the lane. Flips it up. Can't get it to go. Fights for the rebound. Out of there comes Canyon. He gets a nice little spin move. Flips it up. No good. Rebound by Sylvester. No good. We're going to have a jump ball call. So the alternate possession is going to stay with the black team. So now Brindley Duncan does check out. So here's Sylvester looking to trigger in that inbounds pass. Here's Marks. Thought about the three but pulled it back. Marks being guarded closely there by Irwin. Nice defense there. And here comes Stevenson. Ball poked away by Irwin. And out of the pack comes Oliver Perez. So Perez being picked up there by Marks. Marks with the steal. And the layup. Can he get it to go? And he does. So Elijah Marks now. Gets into the scoring column. He's got two. And the black team leads 8-2. to two. We're at 4-15 of the first half. The Maroon team looking to get a couple of these shots to go down. Here's Irwin going up, and he's going to be fouled. And I think that's going to be on the reach. It's going to be on Ian Stevenson. So Stevenson picks up his first foul. And that's going to send Andrew Irwin to the line. Isaiah Jones with the only made basket for the Maroon team. And here comes Andrew Irwin with his first free throw attempt. Sets, shoots, front rims, can't get the roll. Irwin getting his second attempt. Luke Miller checking back in for Oliver Perez. Here's Irwin's second attempt. It's up and gets the shooter's roll. So Andrew Irwin now in the book with his first point of the night. Lead now 8-3. to three. We're at four minutes even to go first half. <coughs> Stevenson came across the timeline, tried to flip it over to Marks, but he was cutting towards the basket. That's going to be a turnover there by the black team. So now Kaylee Milsom to trigger it in. Gets it into Irwin. Irwin picked up at half court by Marks. Gets around him. Nice little flip pass there to Milsom. She can't get it to go. And out of the pack comes Elijah Marks with the rebound. He's going to take it strong. Could be a charge. Let's see what they call here. They're going to call that on number five. That's going to be a foul on Milsom. That's going to be her second foul. It's going to send Elijah Marks to the line. Marks with one made basket already here tonight. Looking to pick up his third and fourth points. So Elijah Marks puts it on the floor, eyes it up, takes the first shot and knocks it down. So Marks now with three. The lead now stretched to six, nine to three. The black team leading the maroon team. Isaiah Jones is going to check in for Kaylee Milsom. Here's Marks, steps into this one, and gets the shooter's roll. So Elijah Marks makes both. He's got four. And the black team in double digits now, leading 10-3. to 3. 3.15 to go, first half. Here's Irwin, again being picked up by Stevenson, trying to work off the screen of Nicholas Porter. He's going to drive to the basket, flips it up, can't get it to go. Rebound fought for, pulled out of there by Canyon. He's going to look up the court for his streaking marks. And Elijah Marks now with six of the 12. And his team leads 12 to 3. We're under three to go. Mass substitutions getting ready here for the black team. Yegley and two Duncans. 
Here's Irwin. Flips it out to Stroop. Here's Irwin with the wide open shot. No good front rim. Fought for underneath. Nice save there by Isaiah Jones. And here comes Marks. He's going to look up the floor. Sees a breaking Canyon who throws it up and in. So Delshawn Canyon now extends this lead to 14 to 3. 220 to go first half. So checking out will be Ian Stevenson, Carson Miller, and Dominic Sylvester. Checking in Cooper Yegley, Brinley Duncan, and Casey Duncan for the black team. Here's Irwin. Picked up by Marks. Marks with the steal. He's a nice-looking basketball player. Handles the ball well. Gets it down to Brindley Duncan, who knocks it down for her second basket of the night. She's got four in this first half. The lead now at 13, 16 to 3. We're under two to go in this first half. Pretty balanced scoring so far here by the black team. There's a shot off the mark by Porter. Brindley Duncan going to flip it to Cooper Yegley. Yegley across the timeline. Gets it over now to Casey Duncan. Duncan thought Yegley was cutting towards the basket and threw it in the area of the basket, but it went out of bounds. So it's a turnover by the black team, but they lead 16-3 to now with 1 minute 15 seconds to go on a running clock in this first half. Marks tried to make a steal there on Irwin. He's able to get across the timeline, and the Maroon team with numbers. Irwin's going to drive to the basket, and he's going to get fouled. That foul is going to be called on Delshawn Canyon. That's going to send Irwin back to the line where he's one for two for tonight. So 103 to go first half. Trying to give the Maroon team their fourth and fifth point of the night. That one bounces in and out. Irwin with the second attempt. Our referees tonight, Cody Thomas and Anthony Dorito. Shot is up and good. So Irwin with two of the four points here tonight for the Maroon team. And we're under a minute to go here in the first half. Here comes Canyon. Almost poked away by Irwin. Gets it over to Marks. Marks thought about taking a three. Some fancy dribbling, but nice defensive job by Irwin. Shot was up and no good by Marks. Porter comes out of there with the rebound for the Maroon team. Flips it over to Irwin. We're down to a half a minute to go. Irwin gets it down the floor. Shot up by Jones. No good. It's going to be out of bounds off of Luke Miller. He tried to corral that rebound, but just couldn't handle it. So now under 20 seconds to go. And Irwin denying the pass. And that ball was off the support. But either way, here comes Brindley Duncan. Duncan to Marks. Marks looks at the clock. Three, two, can't get the shot off. So at the end of the first half, it's the black team with a 16-4 lead over the maroon team. And we'll be back with these first half stats right after the messages on the South Union Township Sports Network. collection calls, finding bills in the mail you can't pay. Are you expecting shutoff or foreclosure notices? If you're in financial trouble, you need to know that there is help under the law that will help protect you and your assets. Hi, this is attorney Chuck Zebley with Zebley Mahal and White. Allow us to help you protect yourself. If you're in debt and have no way out, let us help you understand your options under the federal bankruptcy laws. Filing bankruptcy is not the end of the road. For many, it's a fresh start and a new beginning. So give our office a call today, 724-439-9200. Or visit our website at zeblaw.com. Zebley Mahal of White in Uniontown. Local attorneys helping local people. Let us help you fix your life. Zebley Mahal of White. It's going to be all. It's going to be all. This is Dr. Fraser Stokes. Have you ever felt something stick in your chest when swallowing? 
This can be caused by a narrowing in your esophagus from inflammation, scar tissue, or rarely a tumor. At SWGI, our board-certified gastroenterologist, Dr. Ruthart Calabrese Hoppy and I specialize in the care of swallowing disorders. Call 724-437-7677 or visit swgispecialist.com. In the second half of play, and off of the miss, here comes Ian Stevenson. The black team leads 16-4. Nice pass to the middle there to Casey Duncan. He kicks it out to Brindley Duncan. There's Stevenson making a move. Nice little drop down pass to Brindley Duncan. Can't get it to go, but fights for her own rebound. And comes out of the pack with it, sets it back up. Shot off the glass. And Andrew Irwin coming the other way. His team trails 16 to 4. Stevenson picks him up. Nice little shot there by Irwin. Can't get it to go. Here comes Stevenson out of the pack. He's going to take it himself and can't get it to go. Knocked out of bounds there. It looks like off of the black team. So now taking it out of bounds for the maroon team is Nicholas Porter. Let's go over the scoring real quick in that first half for the maroon team. Isaiah Jones had two. Andrew Irwin had two points. He was two of four from the foul line. For the black team, Brindley Duncan had four. Elijah Marks with six, Deshaun Canyon with two, and Ian Stevenson with four. And there's a basket there. Porter scores his first points of the night. And cuts the lead now down to 10, 16 to six. Ten and a half to go in this game. Stevenson picked up his dribble. Now there's a turnover. Here comes Porter, and he's got numbers, three on one. Nice little pass there to Irwin, and Irwin goes up. So Andrew Irwin now and the Maroon team trying to make a little bit of a charge. They've scored the last four points, the first four points in this half, 16 to 8. Stevenson looking to drive. Here's Porter. Nice double team there by he and Irwin. Stevenson can't get it to go. Oliver Perez with the rebound, loses it, but no. It's going to go back to the Maroon team. Defense not allowed to be played here in the backcourt until under two to go. So here's Andrew Irwin. Pass here to Porter. Porter with the shot. Can't get it to go. Rebound. Milsom comes out with it. Gets it out to Irwin. Sets up the offense again. So Irwin sees a flashing Milsom. She's going to turn in the paint. Puts it up and can't get it to go. And here comes Stevenson out of the pack again. Weaving his way to the basket, flips it up and gets the shooter's roll. Ian Stevenson now with six and the lead back up to 10, 18 to eight. Nine, 10 to go here in the second half. There's a turnover. Stevenson again coming. He's got a cutting dunk and nice move there by Ian Stevenson. Can't get it to go and Porter gonna come out. Looks like somebody might have taken a shot. Let's see who that is. That's number seven. That's Andrew Irwin. So Irwin holding his eye. I don't know if he got poked in the eye on a play. But he's going to take a seat. Keller Stroop going to check in for him. So setting the lineup for the Maroon, it's Porter, Stroop, Luke Miller, Isaiah Jones, and Kaylee Milsom. For the black team, it's Elijah Marks, Stevenson, Yeagley, Canyon, and Sylvester. Porter picked the ball up behind half court, so we're going to have to have a timeout to avoid the turnover. So with 8.38 to go, it's the black team 18, the maroon team 8, and we'll be right back on the South Union Township Sports Network right after these messages. Attorneys from all over the state and nation advertise in southwestern Pennsylvania for personal injury and workers' comp cases. But most of them send their assistants to do the legwork. You might not even meet your attorney until your first hearing. We're local attorneys, Davis and Davis. We meet directly with our clients, including free consultation. There are no fees until you receive money on your case. If you've been injured, call Davis and Davis, representing you and your neighbors yesterday, today, and tomorrow. Call 724-437-2799. 
Welcome back to the South Union Township Sports Network. 8.38 to go here in the second half. It's the black, eight, black team, 18. The maroon team, 8. This is good to see Irwin coming back into the game. It looked like he had put, been poked in the eye, but he's coming back in and leading the offense right now for the maroon team. Flips it over to Jones, who can't get it to go, but offensive rebound by Milsom. And Stevenson flips it out to Marks. Marks with the floater in the lane. Elijah Marks with a game-high eight. And his team leads 20 to eight. Eight minutes to go here in this contest. Pass to Luke Miller, and he kicks it away. And Marks scoops it up. He's going to take it in himself. Flips it up and gets it to go. Marks now in double figures with 10. And his team leads by 14, 22 to 8. There's a steal by Stevenson on the pass, and numbers two on one over to Marks. Can't get it to go. Stevenson with the rebound. Misses short, and the ball knocked out of bounds by the black team. Milsom triggers it in to Andrew Irwin. Irwin, the high score for the maroon team with four. Trying to work off of this screen by Kaylee Milsom. Drives baseline. There's a floater. Rims it out. Milsom with the rebound. We're going to get a jump ball call. Milsom fighting with Delshawn Canyon for the rebound. And the arrow is going to go to the black team on the possession arrow. So now Keller Stroop going to check out. Nicholas Porter going to check back in. Here comes Elijah Marks now running the point. Marks with the move, flips it over to Stevenson. And Stevenson up and off the glass and in. Stevenson now with eight. And his team has tripled up the maroon team. It's 24 to eight. We've got six and a half to go in this contest. Irwin takes it up, and he's going to be fouled. The foul going to be called on Elijah Marks with the push. He bodied up Irwin as he tried to take it to the basket. So Uren going to get another chance at the foul line. He's two for four tonight. He's got four points on the night, the leading scorer for the Maroon team. Trying to put his team into double digits here. First shot up, no good. So he'll get another try. Irwin takes a look up and... Off the back rim, but gets it to go. Irwin now with five. His team trailing 24 to nine. And Marks being guarded here by Milsom. He's going to turn that ball over. It's going to be a backcourt violation. And it is. Marks trying to drive around a couple players there and just flipped it back to Stevenson, but flipped it out of his reach. And the ball's going to be a turnover on the black team for a backcourt. They're going to have to stay in the circle on defense here. So here's Irwin. Trying to drive, but it's pretty packed in there tight right now. As we said, the black team with a big lead, 10-point lead, and not able to come out of the circle. There's a pass down to Jones. Jones with a three-point attempt. No good. Here comes Delshawn Canyon. Canyon being picked up there nicely by Milsom. Canyon. Flips it to Stevenson. Stevenson with a three try. Too strong. Rebound corralled there by Canyon. He's going to try a three. It's up, and he's going to get it to go. Delshawn Canyon with the first made three of the game here for either team. And he's got five. And the lead up to 27 to nine. Five minutes even to go here in this contest. Irwin with the drive. Flips it up. Rebounded there by Yegley. Yegley gets it to Marks. Marks looking to drive. Going to pull it back out and take a three. Too strong off the back iron. Rebound there by Canyon. Marks faked the three, and now he's going to drive. Short shot was short, but the rebound by Sylvester. Bounced off the rim, couldn't get it to go, and here comes Irwin the other way. Takes it strong on Stevenson. Just a little bit short. Rebound there by Sylvester. He's looking for help. 
Flips it out to Ian Stevenson. So we're going to have a timeout by the black team. Four minutes and 20 seconds to go. It's the black team 27, the maroon team 9. And we'll be right back on the South Union Township Sports Network right after these messages. At what point did everything change? When did service get taken out of service industries? It's too bad, because people are busy these days. At life, at work, at play. When it comes to your hard-earned money, you want service. Real service. From a person you know, and a face you trust. At a bank where changing with the times doesn't mean leaving people behind. We're proud to be a part of your community. We're United Bank, at your service. Welcome back to the South Union Township Sports Network. We're down to 4.20 to go here. Second half, and the black team with a 27-9 lead over the maroon team. Brindley Duncan looking to drive, and good defense there by Porter. She's going to step on the baseline. That's going to be a turnover by the black team, but they're handily in charge here, 27-9. Under four to go. And here comes Irwin. Looking to work off the screen by Porter. Going to take it to him by himself. Shot up, no good. Rebound by Jones. Can't get it to go. And Sylvester pulls out the rebound. He's going to flip it to Casey Duncan. Duncan being picked up there by Stroop. Sylvester flips it to Yegley. Yegley looking for some help. Flips it back to Sylvester. There's Casey Duncan. Makes a little move. Might have got away with a little high dribble there, but throws the pass away. Now here comes Oliver Perez. It's going to be stolen away there by Casey Duncan. Now it's Yegley coming out of the pack with it. Yegley with three minutes to go. The black team up 27-9. Nearly a five-second count. Sylvester trapped there by Isaiah Jones. And again, a near steal there by Oliver Perez. But the ball was knocked out by the Maroon team. So the black team retains possession. 2.38 to go. And here comes Yegley at the top of the key. Flips it to Brindley Duncan. Duncan being guarded there by Nicholas Porter now trapped in the corner is Yegley. And there's going to be a steal. Nice play there by Por Perez. I'm sorry. Here comes Andrew Irwin. Flips it over to Porter. Porter going to take it strong and gets it to go. So Nicholas Porter with four points tonight and all those coming in the second half. His team now in double digits. It's 27 to 11. We're down to two minutes even to go in this contest. The black team looking to make some steals. I'm sorry, the maroon team looking to make some steals. And there's a steal there by Irwin. Irwin's going to take it strong. Flips it up. No good. Here comes Sylvester out of the pack. Looks up the court. Sees Duncan wide open. Duncan with the shot. No good. Sylvester fighting for the rebound. Brindley Duncan going to come out of the pack with it. She's going to flip it back out up top to Dominic Sylvester. Sylvester being guarded there closely by Stroop and Irwin. And here comes Isaiah Jones with the steal. Nice pass there to Porter. Porter's going to take it up strong. Lefty, no good. Jones, no good. Another rebound by Porter. No, coming out of the pack is Duncan. And the lefty, Brindley Duncan, going to pull up at the foul line. A little too strong. Here's Oliver Perez. We're under a minute to go here in this contest. Irwin down the lane, no good. The ball couldn't be corralled there by Porter, and it was knocked out of bounds off of Sylvester. So now with under a minute to go, we're going to have a mass substitution. Checking out will be Brindley Duncan, Casey Duncan, and Dominic Sylvester. Checking in will be Delshawn Canyon, Elijah Marks, and Ian Stevenson. Shot there off the rim by Irwin. Marks coming the other way. 
Marks with a nice move. No good. Rebound Stevenson. No good. Fought for Marks again with the rebound. He's going to get fouled there, or are they going to call a travel? Referees looking at each other. Cody Thomas says it was a travel, so Marks going to get called for the travel. Here comes Irwin, going to throw one up from half court. His time expires and can't get it to go. So your final score in this first game, it's the black team 27, the maroon team 11. Tonight's game was brought to you as a joint cooperative venture featuring Township Supervisors Bob Schiffbauer, Rick Vernon, and Jason Scott, Atlantic Broadband Cable, Armstrong Cable, and our friends at CUTV, Gary Smith and his staff. I'm Tony Anola with Jerry DuPay, and this has been a South Union Township Sports Network presentation. We'll be right back for the second game of this action tonight on the South Union Township Sports Network in a little while. Some things just go together, like bread and butter, blue jeans and Saturdays, best friends and phone calls. And a great match, you and discounts from Erie Insurance. It's like this. Safety features in your car will have you paying less for your auto insurance. And pay off your Erie Auto policy all at once, and you'll save up to 7% more. On your homeowner's policy, you earn discounts that start at age 46 and go up each time you celebrate a birthday. There are more discounts, too, for things like home safety features and even teenage drivers. And the savings keep adding up. When you have your auto and home covered with Erie, you get a discount. Buy a life policy with us, and the savings can get even better. At Erie Insurance, above all in service means making life a little easier on you and on your wallet. Your Erie agent is waiting for you. Your local Erie agent is Sprowls Insurance Group, 724-437-9812, or go to SprowlsInsurance.com. Discount terms and amounts may vary by state. See your local Erie agent for details. Filing for bankruptcy is not something that anyone wants to do. Good people sometimes run into hard times, and they need help. Hi, I'm Dan White with the law offices of Zebley, Mahalib, and White, and I'm here to help. If you're faced with insurmountable debt and are out of options and you need help, give our office a call today. Allow us to help you understand your rights and options under the law. Filing bankruptcy is not the end of the road, and if you're struggling with debt, it very well could be a new beginning. So stop worrying and take action. Give our office a call today at 724-439-9200 or click on zeblaw.com for more information. Zebley, Mahalib, and White. Local attorneys helping local people. Let us help you fix your life. SWGI, our board certified. This is Dr. Fraser Stokes. Fatty liver affects 30% of Americans and is a leading cause of cirrhosis and liver cancer. Risk factors for fatty liver include alcohol abuse, obesity, diabetes, and high blood pressure. At SWGI, our board-certified gastroenterologists, Dr. Ruthart, Calabrese, Hoppy, and I specialize in the care of fatty liver. Call 724-437-7677 or visit swgispecialists.com. At what point did everything change? When did service get taken out of service industries? It's too bad because people are busy these days at life, at work, at play. When it comes to your hard-earned money, you want service, real service, from a person you know and a face you trust. At a bank where changing with the times doesn't mean leaving people behind. We're proud to be a part of your community. We're United Bank, at your service. Some things just go together, like bread and butter, blue jeans and Saturdays, best friends and phone calls. 
and a great match? You and discounts from Erie Insurance. It's like this. Safety features in your car will have you paying less for your auto insurance. And pay off your Erie Auto policy all at once, and you'll save up to 7% more. On your homeowner's policy, you earn discounts that start at age 46 and go up each time you celebrate a birthday. There are more discounts, too, for things like home safety features and even teenage drivers. And the savings keep adding up. When you have your auto and home covered with Erie, you get a discount. Buy a life policy with us, and the savings can get even better. At Erie Insurance, above all in service, means making life a little easier on you and on your wallet. Your Erie agent is waiting for you. Your local Erie agent is Sprowls Insurance Group, 724-437-9812, or go to SprowlsInsurance.com. Discount terms and amounts may vary by state. See your local Erie agent for details. The South Dean Township Supervisors, Robert Schiffbar, Rick Vernon, and Jason Scott, would like to wish the South Dean Township Youth Basketball League on having a fun and successful basketball season this year. Dr. Fraser Stokes. Did you know that colorectal cancer is the second leading cancer killer in America or that it can be prevented by removing polyps during a 30-minute colonoscopy? At SWGI, our board-certified gastroenterologists, Drs. Ruth Hart Calabrese Hoppe and I, encourage you to consider a screening colonoscopy. Call 724-437-7677 or visit swgispecialists.com. Sam Davis was a gift from heaven. He knows the law and the court system unlike anyone else I've ever met or seen. Sam helped me get through the federal court system with the best possible outcome. Davis and Davis, personal injury and workers' comp. We at Davis and Davis are humbled by what our clients have to say about us. If you've been injured, call me, Jim Davis, for a free consultation. We have been helping injured people for over 40 years. Call 724-437-2799. Are you tired of looking at the same old furniture day in and day out? Let Chesler's Fine Furniture work their magic. Chesler's offers the finest in name brand home furnishings by famous manufacturers, plus accent pieces that underline your unique sense of style, and they are all sale priced. There are living room suits by King Hickory, Lancer, Craftmaster, Lazy Boy, and Best Chair, each offering a distinct flair of comfort and design in many styles and fabrics, the largest selection of metal dinettes by Douglas, and dining sets in your choice of finishes and woods. Chesler's has exceptional bedding by White Dove and Imperial in your choice of size and firmness. Chesler's Fine Furniture also offers genuine Lazy Boy recliners and living room suits for pure relaxing comfort. In addition, you can count on Chesler's for friendly, courteous service, delivery, and layaway. Credit terms are available with up to six months the same as cash. for bankruptcy is not something that anyone wants to do. Good people sometimes run into hard times, and they need help. Hi, I'm Dan White with the law offices of Zebley, Mahalib, and White, and I'm here to help. If you're faced with insurmountable debt and are out of options and you need help, give our office a call today. Allow us to help you understand your rights and options under the law. Filing bankruptcy is not the end of the road, and if you're struggling with debt, it very well could be a new beginning. So stop worrying and take action. Give our office a call today at 724-439-9200 or click on zeblaw.com for more information. Zebley Mahalov and White, local attorneys helping local people. Let us help you fix your life. Zebley Mahalov and White. It's gonna be all, it's gonna be all right.
Welcome to the South Union Township Sports Network. We're getting ready for game two of this elementary doubleheader. Give you the starting lineups here in one minute as soon as we get all the numbers. Okay, jumping for the gray team will be number three. That's Aiden Geetap. Looks like he's going to be jumping against. Catch a number here. Doesn't matter. Gray won the tip. <laughs> so that was Cole Solarchek jumping for the yellow team. So down in the corner to Geetap. Roman George with the shot. Rebound coming out there to Damon Revac. So starters for the yellow. J.D. Williams, Crosby France, Evan Lyon, Damon Revac, and Cole Solarchik. And here's a steal by Aaliyah Richardson. Down in the corner. Thought about a three was Evan Lyon. Ball goes down to Revac. Nice move on the baseline. Damon Revac with the first basket of the game. And the yellow team jumps out to a quick 2 to nothing lead. Gray starters are Roman George, Aiden Gitab, Brady Mahoney, Elayla Richardson, and Nolan White. That shot was off by George. And Damon Revac with the rebound. Picked up there defensively by George. There's a shot strong by Lyon. And rebound there pulled out by Solarchek. He's going to get it to Revac and Revac with the scoop shot. No good. Gets his own rebound and puts it up and good. So Damon Revac, four quick points in the first minute and a half of play. And his yellow team up four to nothing over the gray. Nice move there by Brady Mahoney. Mahoney's going to pull up for the shot. Just a little bit short. Again, rebound by Revac. He's going to let the offense get down. Thought about Hitting a streaking car, Crosby France. There's Lyon, nice screen there. Evan Lyon with the shot up and good. And the yellow team up six to nothing. Ten minutes to go, even in the first half. Roman George running the point, tries to flip it down to a cutting Aiden Gitap, but that's going to be out of bounds. So checking in for the gray team will be Caden Batonti. Checking out. Looks like going to be Nolan White. Checking in for the yellow team is Allison Fabry. So Fabry set in the corner. There's a shot by Lyon. No good. And here comes Roman George, and he loses control but flips it back in. Mahoney able to corral it. And there's going to be a foul. So Brady Mahoney. He and Roman George, but I think they're going to call that foul on Roman George. So the first foul on either team with 9.06 to go. The yellow team with a 6 to nothing lead. Lyon flips it in to Damon Revac. Revac working off the screen by Lyon. Takes it right down the lane. Scoop shot up and good. Damon Revac with 6. And his team pitching a shutout right now. 8 to nothing. 8.40 to go here, first half. Pass down in the corner. Batonti, and they're going to call for travel. Looks like he might have carried the ball a little bit. He's looking around for an explanation. So now checking in for the yellow team. They're going to pull Roman George out, and checking in is going to be Batonti. I'm sorry, J.D. Williams, I'm sorry. So checking out was Crosby France. J.D. Williams checking in. I'm sorry about that. So here comes J.D. Williams now. Corralling the loose ball and getting it back to Revac. Revac clearing out for him. There's a cut to Lyon. Lyon flip shot. No good. And Batonti coming out with the rebound. Lefty Mina got away with the travel. There's Mahoney driving. Shot up, no good. Gets his own rebound. Pulled away. A nice job there by Cole Solarchek. So now Evan Lyon running the point. With the runner, no good. Lyon with his own rebound. Too strong. 
Rebound there. Solarchik, he's going to throw up a shot. No good again. And out of the pack comes Richardson with the rebound. Flips it over to Roman George. And George gets the ball over to front rim and puts his great team on the scoreboard. So with 7-10 to go, it's the gray trailing the yellow 8-2. Rebac going to pull up for three. Shot up, back iron. Long rebound goes to Roman George, and he's streaking down the court. Goes up for the layup and just couldn't get it over the front edge. Ball poked away, but Evan Lyon comes back with it. So Lyon looking for Revac. Revac picked up his dribble. I'll give him signals to Slarchek to come help him out, but there's a steal by Roman George. Goes up for the layup and can't get it to go. Here comes Revac the other way to Lyon. Lyon going to throw up a three, and he's going to get it to go. So Evan Lyon pulls up for a three and makes it. That's going to give his team double figure, so 11 to 2. We're going to have a substitution timeout. So here comes Roman George, Brady Mahoney, Kadondre Richardson as well. That rebound comes out to Crosby France, who checked back into the game. Revac running the point here for the yellow team. Gets past George. Ball poked away there. Nice job defensively. Shot up and no good by France. Fabry comes out of the pack with a rebound. Smallest girl on the court, and we're going to have a timeout. Coach Mike Revac realized that Allison Fabry was trapped over there on the sideline, and he calls a timeout. So with 5.34 to go, it's the yellow team 11 and the gray team 2. The South Union Township Sports Network would like to thank our sponsors for making it possible for us to live stream today's elementary basketball games. The Sprouse Insurance Group and agent David Hughes, United Bank, Davis and Davis Attorneys at Law, the South Union Township Supervisors, Bob Schiffbauer, Rick Vernon, and Jason Scott. Southwest Gastrointestinal Specialist, SWGI in Uniontown. And Zebley, Mahalov, and White, Uniontown's business and bankruptcy attorneys. So with 5.34 to go, the yellow team with 11 points. And those are two scorers, basically Damon Revac with six. And Evan Lyon with five on a made three. The only basket for the gray team so far is Roman George, who was able to convert a layup. So now the yellow team lying to trigger it in on the east sideline. Gets it to Revac. Lyon cut back in. He was wide open. Now they're going to try to flip it down to him. And ball poked away, but Lyon's going to take another three. Ball off the front rim. And out of the pack comes Batonti. He's going to try to drive it all the way. Was poked away a little bit. Here's Roman George for three. Too strong. The ball's going to go out of bounds off of Roman George. Substitutes checking in for the gray team is Aiden Gitap and Elia Richardson. I apologize for any mispronunciations here tonight. Here's Revac. Offense moving, here's Lyon. Gets past the defender, tries to get it back to Revac in the lane. That ball's going to be poked out of bounds, and it's going to go to the gray team. So Revac with the ball poked out of bounds. Eden Gitap is going to take a seat. Now it looks like, I'm sorry, excuse me, Evan Lyon is going to take a seat. It looks like France checking back in. Shot up by George. No good. Gets his own rebound. Ball tries to be saved there. Nice try there by Richardson. He does save it. But they're going to say that looks like Batonti was on the end line. So the ball to turn back over here. So now here's J.D. Williams getting it to Revac. So for the yellow team, it's France Revac. Solarchek. Here comes Revac up. He's going to get fouled. So let's set the lineups. It's J.D. Williams, France, Solarchek, Revac, and Allison Fabry for the yellow team. 
And here's Damon Revac. He's already got six on the night. Looking to extend the lead. It's 11-2. His team leading the gray team. Revac with the shot up and off the back iron. But he's going to get another try. For the gray team right now, it's Richardson Mahoney. Ge I'm sorry, Revac gets the second one to go. He's got seven. And his team leads by double digits, 12 to 2. Here's Richardson. Ball nearly poked away by Williams. Gitap flips it back to George. George for a three-pointer back iron. Law rebound comes out to Brady Mahoney. And he's going to get called for the travel. He and Nolan White both went after the ball at the same time. And Mahoney's going to get called for the travel as White got tied up with him a little bit. So now here's the yellow team. And Lyon going to take the point now. So Evan Lyon to Fabry down low, but the ball poked away. And here comes Roman George coming with a head of steam the other way. Flips it up. No good. Rebound there by Nolan White. And White with the putback. So Nolan White gets on the scoreboard. Score now 12 to 4. The yellow team over the gray team. That ball's going to be poked away by Richardson. And I think it's going to be last touched by the yellow team. Let's see what referee Cody Thomas. He's pointing the other way, so it's going to be possession to the yellow team. So Lyon gets it into Solarchek. Solarchek back to Lyon. Lyon going to drive. Ball poked away. And Batonte out of the pack. Tries to flip it out to George. George with the shot. No good. Rebound there. Cole Solarchik. Here comes Evan Lyon coming the other way. Picked up by Roman George. Here's France. Ball going to be poked away there again by Roman George. Allison Fabry going to check out. And Damon Revac checking back in. There's 150 to go here first half. The yellow team with an eight-point lead, 12 to 4. Revac sets up on the inbound. Too strong. Rebound there. France can't get it to go. And out of the pack comes Lyon. That ball's going to be poked away by Aiden Gitap, but unfortunately for him, it hit the baseline. So now the yellow team to trigger it in under their own basket. Nice pass there to Revac. Fights for his own rebound, can't get it to go, and they're going to call that out of bounds off of Revac. Oh, no, I'm sorry. They're going to still say it's a yellow team. So Lyon to Revac. Revac going baseline, flips it up. No good, but gets his own rebound. So Damon going to put it back up. Back iron. No good. It's stolen away. Revac can't get it to go, but again. With his own rebound, and that foul is going to be called on Aiden Gitap. So Gitap with his first foul tonight. It's going to send Damon Revac back to the line. Revac one for two tonight from the line. He's got seven of the 12 for the yellow team. Trying to extend the lead here with 53 seconds to go. First shot up and nothing but net. So Revac with eight. Checking out for the gray team will be Kedondre Richardson. Revac back iron, gets a shooter's roll. So Revac now three for four from the line. He's got nine. His team up with 45 seconds to go by 10. Roman George just a little out of control, lost possession. There's going to be a foul. I think we're going to call that on number one. That's going to be on J.D. Williams. Coach Gitap going to call a timeout for the gray team. So with 27.8 seconds to go, we're going to take a timeout. It's 14 to 4, the yellow team over the gray team. And the South Union Township Sports Network would like to thank our sponsors for making it possible for us to be live streaming tonight's elementary basketball games. The Sprouse Insurance Group in Uniontown and agent David Hughes, United Bank, Davis and Davis Attorneys at Law, the South Union Township Supervisors, Bob Schiffbauer, Rick Vernon, and Jason Scott. Southwest Gastrointestinal Specialists, SWGI in Uniontown. 
and Zebley Mahal of White, Uniontown's business and bankruptcy attorneys. So with 27.8 seconds to go, Brady Mahoney is going to trigger the play in for the gray team underneath their basket. Checking out was Roman George. He was holding his side a little bit. Don't know if he took a shot in the scrum there, the last possession. But here's Mahoney. Tried to hit a cutting gee tap. But no luck. Nolan White with the ball, and they're going to flip it back out. But Taunty tried to take up a shot, but nice defense there. And here comes Lyon the other way. Down to 15 seconds to go first half. Lyon down in the corner is going to flip it back to Revac. Revac to Lyon. Lyon drives baseline. Up for the shot was Crosby France. No good. Solarchek thought about it, but good defense. Here's Lyon. Up. Can't get it to go. So at halftime, it's the yellow team, 14. The great team, 4. And we'll be back with the second half action right after these messages on the South Union Township Sports Network. This is Dr. Fraser Stokes. Did you know that colorectal cancer is the second leading cancer killer in America or that it can be prevented by removing polyps during a 30-minute colonoscopy? At SWGI, our board-certified gastroenterologists, Drs. Ruth Hart Calabrese Hoppe and I, encourage you to consider a screening colonoscopy. Call 724-437-7677 or visit swgispecialists.com. The South Union Township Supervisors, Robert Schiffbar, Rick Vernon, and Jason Scott, would like to wish the South Union Township Youth Basketball League on having a fun and successful basketball season this year. Welcome back to the South Union Township Rec Center. We're getting ready for second half action. The yellow team with a 10-point lead, 14-4 over the gray team. Let's recap that first half scoring for the yellow team. The yellow team was led by Damon Revac, who had nine points, followed by Evan Lyon with five. So two scores for actually both teams. Evan Lyon had five. He actually had a made three. For the gray team, Roman George and Nolan White. Both hit a basket, accounting for the four points for the Grays. So there's a pass there by Revac. It's going to get poked out of bounds. It's going to go off Lyon, so it's going to go out to the Gray. And the Gray looking to get back into this game. They're down 10 as we start this second half. And Roman George, good to see he's okay back into the game. Richardson with the shot. That's blocked. Nice play there by J.D. Williams. So Williams with the block and the gray team to retain possession. It's going to be Nolan White. Gets it inbounds. Stop there was Brady Mahoney. There's a floater. George can't get it to go off the front rim. And now comes Damon Revac with the rebound. Revac picked up by George. Nice little behind the back dribble, but loses possession. So here comes George the other way. Rebound there by Richardson. And he's going to go up, tripped. Shot up, no good by Mahoney. Roman George coming the other way, no good. Again, another offensive rebound by the Gray. Mahoney can't get that one to go. Checking in now for the yellow team. Damon Revac coming out. Allison Fabry going to check in. So Cole Solarchek now running the point for the yellow team. Gets it over to Lyon. Lyon. Pulled up, thought about a three. Here's France. Crosby flipping it to Evan Lyon. Lyon picks up his dribble. Flips it down to Fabry, but the ball going to be stolen away there by Brady Mahoney. Mahoney comes the other way. Works off a screen by Roman George. Ball going to be poked out of bounds there by Evan Lyon. The ball going to stay with the great team. Gray trails by 10, 14-4. Under 10 minutes to go here in this contest. 
There's a shot by George off the inbounds. No good. Rebound by Richardson. Nice job. Tries to go up, and he's going to be fouled. That's going to be the second foul on J.D. Williams. It's going to be on the floor. So the gray team getting it out of bounds underneath their own basket. And White looking for somebody to find open there. Poked away there by Cole Solarchek. So now taking it out is going to be Brady Mahoney. Mahoney to Roman George. George up. No good. Rebound out of there. Crosby, France. Evan Lyon takes it strong. Flips it. It's going to get thrown away. Nice play there by J.D. Williams. Williams went for the save. It looked like the ball was thrown off of Brady Mahoney, and it was. So the yellow team and Lyon. Damon Reback checking back in. He cuts to the basket. Lyon tries to get it to him. The ball's going to be out of bounds off of Gitap. Reback <laughs> tossed it off his leg as he was falling out of bounds. So smart play there by Damon. Reback gets it underneath, flips it up, scores his first points of the second half. He's now got 11 in double figures. His team now up 16 to 4, eight and a half to go. Nice pass there by George. Here's a shot. No good. Rebound by Richardson. Fought away there. Reback comes out of the pack. France loses control. And they're going to say that's off of yellow. So the gray on the turnover by yellow. So here's Batante flipping it into Roman George. George with two of the four for the gray team. Tries to get it down, and the ball's going to be poked away by Revac. And Evan Lyon coming the other way. Nice pass underneath to Solarchek. He tries to go up. It was blocked away by Batonte, and they're going to call Batonte for the foul. Revac able to pick up that loose ball. So Caden Batonte with the foul. It's going to send Damon Revac back to the line. Revac three for four from the line today. Missed his first and has converted his last three attempts. And again, knocks it down. So four for five. Revac now with 12. His team up by 13. Another sub, J.D. Williams, is going to check in. Going to check in for Crosby, France. So here's Damon Revac. Shot up and no good. And rebound pulled out of there by Brady Mahoney. They're going to say that the yellow team poked it out of bounds. So the gray team retaining possession. Gray trail 17 to 4. We're down to 7.5 to go in this contest. Roman George pulls up, tries to get a pass down low to Brady Mahoney, but stolen away there by Lyon. Gets it out to Revac. He loses control. Richardson coming the other way. The ball again. It's going to go back to the gray team. So now Mahoney getting it into Roman George. George, nice pass down low to Gitap. Gitap turns and shoots. No good. Richardson with the rebound. Gets it back to Batonte. He can't get it to go. Gitap with the rebound. No good. And out of there comes Evan Lyon. Lyon going to slow it down a little bit. Was looking up ahead to J.D. Williams. Does flip it to him now. Williams trapped in the corner. What do we have here? I think we have a glasses were kind of loose there. And I think the referee, Cody Thomas, stopped it just for health concerns. So now the yellow team back to Revac on the inbound. Rebound faking. Floater, no good. Kicked around underneath. Brady Mahoney with the ball. And he's going to come out of the pack with it on the rebound. So Roman George coming the other way. Flips it down to Gitap on the break. Gitap just a little bit short. So now Evan Lyon coming the other way. Gets it to Damon Revac. Revac on the floater. No good. Here comes Caden Batonte. 
flips it to Roman George. George going to take it himself down the lane with the layup. No good. Here comes Damon Reback pushing it hard the other way. But George with great hustle to get the ball back. Gets it to Gitap. Gitap with the shot. No good, but he's going to be fouled. So J.D. Williams with the foul. And that's going to send Aiden Gitap to the line. Gitap scoreless here tonight. His team trails 17 to 4. We're down to 542 to go in this contest. So Aiden Gitap eyes the rim. Gets set. Shot up and good off the bank. So Gitap now in the scoring column. He becomes the third person on the gray team to score. A couple substitutions checking in. Kedondre Richardson checking in for the gray team and Cole Solarchek checking back in for the yellow. So here's Gitap, made his first. Second shot, back iron, no good. Offensive rebound pulled down by White. Gitap going to take a shot, short again. White again with the rebound, up and good. Nolan White with his second made basket of the night. He's got four, and his team... Again, back down by 10, 17 to 7. Under five and a half to go. There's Reback going to go lane. Circles to the middle, and he's going to get fouled there again by Aiden Gitap. And that's going to send Damon Reback back to the line. He is four for six tonight from the line, as we said. 12 points, 12 with 17 for his team. And Evan Lyon with the other five. Revac first attempt, nothing but net. Nice looking ball player. So checking out will be Nolan White checking in. Elijah Richardson. Revac second shot again, nothing but twine. So Revac now with 14 5 in the second half. And his team. Builds the lead back up to 12, 19 to 7. We're down to 5 to go in this contest. George going to pull up for a jumper off the back rim. No good. Allison Fabry trying to get out of the pack, but that ball was stolen away. They're going to say it's going to go back to the yellow team. So Allison Fabry going to take it out here for the yellow team and get it into Damon Revac. We said Revac 14 on the night. This team with a commanding 12 point lead. There's another shot by Revac. No good. Able to get his own rebound and go up strong again. Back iron. No good. Brady Mahoney comes out of there with the rebound. So Mahoney brings it up past the timeline. Going to take it strong. Coming to the left side. Flips it up. No good. Rebound fought for. Fabry and Gitap, and Gitap with the rebound. And they're going to call a timeout, so Coach Gitap with the timeout. So with 4.02 to go, it's the yellow team 19, the gray team 7. South Union Township Sports Network would like to thank our sponsors for making it possible for us to be live streaming tonight's elementary basketball games. Zebley Mahal of White Uniontown's business and bankruptcy attorneys. Southwest Gastrointestinal Specialist, SWGI in Uniontown. South Union Township Supervisors, Bob Schiffbauer, Rick Vernon, and Jason Scott. Davis and Davis Attorneys at Law. United Bank and the Sprouse Insurance Group in Uniontown. And our friend, Agent David Hughes. So with 4.02 to go... The gray, gray team trying to claw their way back into this. They're down by 12. But they have the ball out underneath after the timeout. So Mahoney looking for somebody open. Here's Gitap with the shot. Front rim, no good. Can he get his own rebound? No. Coming out of there is J.D. Williams, and he's going to break free. The ball's going to be stolen away there by Batonte. He's going to flip it back to Roman George. George going to pull up, throw up a three, and knock it down. Roman George with his fifth point of the night. 
His team now down nine. 19 to 10 on that big made three. There's Lyon. Nice little floater baseline. Evan Lyon scores his first points of the second half. He's got seven. And checking in is going to be Damon Revac. Checking out will be Allison Fabry. And Roman George across the timeline. Tries to drive on Revac. Puts up the floater. Can't get it to go. Revac comes out. Looks up, but France was not open. There's a three-pointer. And Damon Revac just having his way here tonight. That's the second made three of the game for his team. He and Evan Lyon both have a made three. So now Revac with 17. And they're going to be a foul. That foul is going to be called on Evan Lyon. That's going to send Roman George to the line. George with five here tonight. Just had that made three on the last trip down. These are the first foul shots by him tonight. So Roman, nice form. Can't get the shooter's roll. So the great team now, one for three from the line. George with his second attempt up. And again back our nice offensive rebound there by Mahoney. But his shot attempt just a little bit short. Here comes Revac to Crosby, France. J.D. Williams going to throw it up just off the rim. Rebound there by Revac. And Revac puts it back up and in. And we've got a substitution timeout, so with 2.14 to go, Nolan White going to check, check back in for the great team for Aiden Gitap. Checking out is going to be Crosby France and Allison Fabry going to check in. Batonti, nice spin move. Nice defense there by Lyon. Batonti flipped it back out to George. Here's Brady. Mahoney, front rim on the three. No good. White again with an offensive rebound. Puts it back up. No good. Roman George with the three. Top of the key. Back iron. And still fought for. And again, another offensive rebound. Mahoney, no good. Coming out of there is Solarchek. He's going to track it down for the yellow team. We're down to a minute and a half to go in this contest. There's Lyon sidestepping good defense by Richardson. Reback looks underneath just through the hands of Williams. And we're going to have a call. It's going to be the it's going to be the gray ball. 26 to 10. The yellow team having a fantastic game here tonight. There's George for another three attempt. Short rebound comes down there to Crosby France. And France going to try to drive it all the way. Nearly gets stolen away by Gray and good play. I'm sorry, by George. And a good play there by George to force the turnover. France got called for the walk. So we're down to 40 seconds to go. Here comes Mahoney. Brady going to pull up for the shot from the corner. Too strong. Gitap with the rebound. Flips it back out to Roman George. George going to drive strong. No good. White with another offensive rebound and put back. Nolan White's got six on the night and it's done a fantastic job on the offensive glass for the gray team here tonight. There's a pass to J.D. Williams. That ball going to be blocked away, and I think this is going to send Williams maybe to the line. Let's see. And now they're going to call it out of bounds. And that's going to be the end of our contest. So your final score, the yellow team 26, the gray team 12. We'll wrap this up real quick. Scoring summary for the yellow team Seven points by Evan Lyon, 19 by Damon Revac. For the great team, Roman George had five, Aiden Gitap with one, and Nolan White with six. As we said, the final score is the yellow team 26, the great team 12. Tonight's game was brought to you as a joint cooperative venture featuring township supervisors Bob Schiffbauer, Rick Vernon, and Jason Scott. Atlantic Broadband Cable, Armstrong Cable, and our friends at CUTV, Gary Smith and his staff. 
I'm Tony Anola with this with Jerry Dupay, and this has been a South Union Township Sports Network presentation. <laughs>